Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the security experts here at Proactive Security Cameras, where your safety and peace of mind is our business. I'm here today to talk to you guys about the differences between analog and IP cameras. This video is geared towards someone new to cameras, so I'm not going to go into immense in-depth detail. What we are going to be comparing today is analog cameras to IP cameras. Let's get one thing straight. Both IP cameras and analog cameras have the same principal design. They both need a camera, wire, power, and a recording system to function. So what makes them different? The most obvious difference is how the video signal is delivered from the camera to the recorder. An analog camera uses RG59 coaxial wire and turns the video into a signal that can be received directly by a television. This allows you to plug these cameras directly into a screen or a DVR for viewing and recording purposes. On the other hand, I have IP cameras which use RJ45 Cat5e wire. The camera digitizes the video signal with a built-in encoder and passes it forward as a network device, similar to how your computer would. Now, recently there have been advancements with analog cameras which has allowed these devices to reach up to 4K resolution. They call these HD over coax, or analog HD cameras. They worked identically to how older analog cameras do, but just produce a higher resolution image. So what's really the difference between them then? Since IP cameras use RJ45, it gives them a lot more reliable static-free image because the cable is designed to withstand interference a lot better than RG59 coaxial wire. This results in a much cleaner looking picture overall. Also, the increased bandwidth capabilities of RJ45 allow more advanced features to be implemented into IP cameras over analog cameras. Since IP cameras are network-based, it allows for decentralized recording, meaning the wire from the camera doesn't have to directly plug into the recording system. It allows you to use the existing switches and routers within a business to pass the video signal along for recording. IP camera systems used to be clunky and complicated, but within the past few years, they've made major improvements to them by not only bringing the price down significantly, but also their complexity. These days, IP systems are no more complicated than an analog system is to set up. Overall, IP cameras are the absolute best choice in every category. So if you're going to be installing a brand new system in your home or business, I recommend an IP camera system. That doesn't mean that HD over coax systems aren't still useful, however. As an installation company ourselves for the past 25 years, we have installed hundreds of thousands of feet of RG59 wire. This gives existing systems a route to give their cameras a facelift without having to rerun all of that wire. Anyone can sell you cameras, so why choose proactive security cameras? It's simple. We've been securing your homes and businesses for nearly 30 years, which proves that we do not abandon our customers after a sale. We've held an a rating with the Better Business Bureau since 1999. Now, we also offer an industry-leading warranty, free shipping, free system designs and consultations, along with free US-based technical support on every purchase. I invite you to be proactive about your security. I like it. Yeah. Well, at least you got the old cheese from. Yeah, I think I like the last one the best. Mm -hmm.